So to create a spiral, we're going to use a Blender add-on here in Preferences, under Add-ons. And if you type in Curves, it'll be there because it comes with Blender. You just have to turn it on by clicking this check box, Add Curve Extra Object. And now when we go to the Add menu under Curve, we get way more options. You can play around with these. We're going to use Curve Spirals Archimedean. And it's going to have, don't click anywhere, it's going to have this menu down here you have to expand. If you click somewhere, it'll apply it and this will disappear. So let's just make sure we have this the way we want it. I'm going to show you, wait a minute, this is a circle. Oh, but if I, if I mess with the settings, oh, it's actually a spiral. And I can turn turns up and get way more spiral out of it. The steps is just sort of the, the resolution of it. This could be pretty low and have good results if you switch to NURBS or Bazir. I'm going to use NURBS. It tends to be easier for me. Um, and what else do we need? We want to make the spiral small on the top, so we're going to mess with radius growth until it's sort of uh, like soft serve. Uh, I'm going to turn the height down a little. You can always mess with this later, but get the right settings here because it's uh, a lot easier than messing with it one piece by piece. If you switch to tweak, you can just move these things around. Now I've clicked out of it, so I've applied that. I'm going to undo this tweak, but we have this curve. Now we want to make it uh, thick. We're going to make it 3D. So down here in the curve settings, you're going to go to geometry, down to bevel, turn the depth way up. And this uh, has the issue of having these ends not looking very good. Now, depending on what you're doing, you might just be able to press fill caps and that's good enough for you. But uh, for the soft serve, I want to taper it down so that at the ends, it actually looks like uh, it was extruded out of something. So I'm going to go back to object mode and I'm going to add another curve. You might have to scroll to see this depending on your screen. But I'm going to just add a normal uh, NURBS curve. It can be any kind of curve, but the important part is that uh, that curve is going to be, from the start to the end of this, how thick this curve is. So with the soft surface selected, we're going to look at Taper Object and pick the name of whatever that curve you just made is. And you won't notice it yet, but if I go into Edit Mode into this, uh, the Taper Object, and I start extruding, you can see that this looks the way I want. But why is that happening? You can imagine this is like a graph from start to finish of, what, of how thick this curve is. It's called the taper. So if I move this like this, controls the very end, which I can go too far and make it go inside itself. So let's just go until looks like an actual tip, stop there. These other nodes will control the other parts of the curve. So I can control the whole thing sort of getting smaller. Again, just making sure that uh, the end remains an actual tip. And uh, I want the bottom of it to be bigger. That's going to be towards this end. Okay, and I'm going to extrude this so that this gets small. I don't want it to get small till the very end, right? This is the top. This, this axis is the, the top and the bottom. This axis is how thick it is. And this is the smallest amount of thickness. So if that made any sense, Hopefully you can play around with that and make all kinds of cool shapes. Like this, whatever. Um, but here, let's finish up soft serve. Uh, I'm just going to edit this a little. Pressing tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to turn on proportional editing, which means now when I tweak this, the things around it move too. And I'm undoing that. But uh, make sure you have connected only on. That'll help you a lot. Because now when I move this, it's not going to move these other points that are near it, but not connected. So I'm using the scroll wheel 
to uh, control how much of it gets moved. And I'm just tucking in the bottom here. What looks natural. And you can you can manually mess with this all you want. I'm going to use R to rotate it a little. Give it just a little character. R twice gives you a bit different of a rotation control. And looking at this, uh, this is how I like it. Uh, that's how I like my ice cream. I'm going to give it um, material and add an ice cream cone. If you go into mesh, there's a... I've opened up the add menu with Shift A. There's just a cone there. I'm going to rotate it by typing in 180 on my keyboard, R and then 180. And, oops, messed up somewhere there. Let me Let me try that again. Add mesh cone, and then I press R, and then I press X for the X axis. I type in 180 on my keyboard. Now it's perfectly turned upside down. You can press G to grab Z for the Z axis. And there we go, we got an ice cream cone. I want to tweak it just a little bit so that it fits in that cone. There we go. Good to me.